All right, so today I want to talk about how do you check for the existence of a variable? I mean, it's easy enough to check a variable to see what value it has inside of it. You can use if statements and so on, but what if you want to know whether or not a variable has been declared? So I've got a basic setup here. We've got web page with a standard script tag, no other attributes other than the source. That is loading this index.js. Now we're going to talk about modules as well. So I've got a module script here and I've got a couple of variables. Great. We can import those. We will get into doing that. And I've set up some basic variables. I've got a number, a string, an object, an array, and a function. And using the type of operator, when this script loads, we're going to see what those types are. So here we are. Runs in the browser, number, string, object, object, function. So this is the array and this is the object or the other way around. Yeah, object first, then the array. They're both type object. So we get that happening in the browser and we will get the exact same results for what we've done here if we're running this in Node.js. So, so far, Node.js, browser, exact same. There are going to be a few differences though. So first of all, in this basic setup where I'm using sort of the ES6 syntax, I'm using let and const to declare all my variables. Um, I'm not using modules, it's just a basic script. When I'm doing this, if I want to test for something that exists or doesn't exist, it doesn't matter what type we expected it to be, if it doesn't exist, it's going to be the same thing. So we've got num1, string1, object1, array1, function1. So let's try num2. So it is a variable name that does not exist what we get is undefined. So this string, undefined, is what we get back. So this is how you tell whether or not a variable exists. So I'm going to compare it, you know, I'm going to say, okay, uh, is this equal to the string undefined? So I should get a true coming up as the last thing in my console. And there it is, true. Okay, great. So we run this expression, we get back the value true. We know that this variable does not exist yet. Okay, now, one thing that you have to be aware of in the browser, this does not apply in Node, but in the browser, if I use var, so I'm just going to comment all this out. I'll leave it in here, but I'll comment it out. If you're looking for a copy of all this code, the finished version of this, uh, down in the description, there's a link to the code gist with this file, so you can play around, or these files, so you can play around with them. Now, in the browser, non-module, I'm going to use the keyword var to declare something. So if I do this, if I say var num2, and I set it equal to something, and then we say var f2 equals function. So we're creating a function and a number. Now, I can do the same sort of thing. I can do type of, and it's going to tell me, okay, you've got a number and you've got a function. Fair enough. But there's one other thing that we will get here, and that is if you are in a script that doesn't have type module and you use var to declare this, we're going to get those things added to the window object. This is the old JavaScript way of doing it. It's something that it did with the keyword var. So F2, there's the one. There we are. There's the number 99 and here's the function. So those things have been added to the window object because we used var. Now, if you use the regular function keyword and we're in a script that is not using type module, we get the same thing happening. So window F3, or you can write the with the dot notation that will work as well. Window dot F3. There it is. So there's our F3 function, there's our F2 function, there's the num2. So those things exist on the window object. So this is another way that you can test it. You can say, hey, is there something called F3 in the window object? So in that last instance, true. There's our value. So we are getting true. I'll zoom in here a little bit. True is what we're getting back. So non-module script using var or declaring a function like this, a function declaration, not a function expression, but a function declaration, you will get that added to the window object. However, 
as soon as you add type equals module, refresh our page, there we go, undefined, undefined, false. We're not getting that. So it does, F3 does not exist on the window object. And we don't have the window object in node, so obviously this isn't going to work on node. But even if you use the global this property in node, it's not going to be there, regardless of whether it's type module or type script. Okay, so again, we will comment those out. Same sort of thing here. If you import things, you want to test to see if those exist, you can do the same thing. We can say, all right, name, and I want to get the type of that. If it exists, that will come back and tell me string log type of and Frodo is a function inside there. Name is a string. There we are. We've imported them. Those work fine. Uh, there's nothing in here called Gimli. So if I do log type of Gimli, that should give me undefined. It does not exist. All right. So this is telling me it doesn't exist, whether it was imported from another module or declared in here, it doesn't really care where it is. It's looking through all of its scopes to say inside the script scope, inside the module scope, or sorry, the global and the module scope, it does not exist. So we're getting undefined for this one. Now, one other way that you can check, so this is one other thing. If you're dealing with functions, you might not do the type of thing. You might have a bunch of other code that you're running. You might want to use a try catch in here. Let me comment out these other ones first. There we go, that's commented out. And inside my try catch, I'm gonna catch an error if one happens. So if we have a function f1, this is never going to run. So I should not see this message. I should see the f1 function message come up, not the error. And there it is, f1 function. Okay, so we tried it, it did work. However, if you call a function that does not exist, whether you're talking about imported, like Frodo, or you're talking about one here, F1, if you're calling one that doesn't exist in either place, you will get the error. So the catch is going to run. But how do I know if it's the fact that this does, doesn't exist, this F2 object, if this doesn't exist, or is it a problem in my function, like something went wrong inside my function? Well, we can test that by looking at the error object. And we can say, use a switch case statement or ternary operator, whatever it is that you want to look at. I'm going to look at the name property. And if that is equal to reference error, that's going to tell me that this is a problem with the fact that the variable that we are dealing with here did not exist. There it is. So this doesn't exist. Now you can get more specifics. You can go to the message property on the error object. There we go. F2 is not defined. So there's my message. Here's the one that was generated. This is the, the error object dot message property. And the name property, if it's reference error, that's exactly what this means is, hey, I could not find that variable. So the variable does not exist. And that's it you are now armed with everything that you need to be able to check whether or not a variable does or does not exist in any sort of instance. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.